just Lola eating a cucumber. Lola, you like it? Is it good? Mmm. Right, Pupu? Eat the badoni, eat the badoni, Pupu. Why are you getting so dirty? Huh, Masajera? What's wrong with you? <laughs> they do that to get rid of the bugs. <laughs> my zucchini plants these are the baby ones you see the contrast in color this is kind of a light green and this is dark green well I just add fertilizer to this one I think it needs it but the rest of them are very beautiful look how many flowers they got mostly male flowers those are the ones that come up first yeah you can see the long stem there right here over there they're all male flowers on this plants oh no wait a minute there are three fruits already see that one this one this other one so all this section here is zucchini and i have one other plant here which is amazing it's huge and already has zucchini baby zucchini here plant some some flowers, the giant ones, because I love some flowers, guys. These are baby cucumbers, still small, but let me show you this plant. This plant, it's amazing. Look how small and damaged is by the beetles. And it has so many flowers and they're all open. So amazing. So that means she's, she's happy. Look at that, it's full of flowers. I plant here cucumbers. Those are the big ones there. And this is gonna give me cucumbers in about uh, three weeks, I'll say, probably. And I'm already getting lots of cucumber from those over there. That's um, Marker Moore variety. These ones are straight A. I usually plant slicers, cucumbers. Um, I don't, can cucumbers but i'm gonna pick open some this year because i have so many this is an eggplant and it's my first year planting eggplant very excited but worry about the flea beetles on them it's very hard to keep them out of the flea beetles but uh, as you see they're starting to flower and that's a good sign it's fighting against the flea beetles here's more cucumbers this one's a little bit bigger see all the flowers stay closed now they open during the morning after sunrise and they open for about five to six hours they close back again some of them are still open though but uh yeah that's what they do to get pollinated here's another two eggplants this one's a little bit more damaged as you see those flea beetles but she's still fighting too look and this one here <sighs> let me blow it <sighs> flea beetles out out now let's go to this row here i have two more eggplants here 
this one and this one over here then the rest is beets i have some small plants of banana peppers i've been collecting some of the peppers already but that's really small and when you want to do when you see a plant this small with a big fruit you need to harvest the fruit as soon as possible which i'm gonna do tonight because you want the plant to grow and not fruit uh, that, that young it's gonna concentrate you want the plant to concentrate all the energy on growing and bushing instead of growing fruit and here are my cachucha peppers they're beautiful they're green that's what they're doing they're not giving me fruit yet but they're growing and the color i love the color it's very healthy on all of them see got six cachucha peppers and like five banana peppers these all tomatoes these are beans uh these beans a friend brought to me and I decided I didn't have any more space in the garden so I decided and these are pole beans they need to attach to a fence usually because they're buying plants so I put it on the other side of the tomato it's gonna be a whole mess here but look at that beauty there <laughs> they're all hiding everywhere and we'll see what happens with the beans never grow beans beans before so an experience okay I just want to show you that the tomatoes are there look at that one that one they're hiding but as you see the bottom of the plants are bushy and there's wheat there too but as long as I see a very green and healthy that's not a problem look at this chart here this plant sweet chard this is so beautiful and you can eat it you can eat it in salads there's a young one there and that's lettuce there you can eat it in salads so i like to eat it with eggs in the morning saute with eggs these are my sweet potato i had the garlic here that i harvested with my daughter in the prior video so i planted the sweet potatoes sweet potatoes they need to be watered every day when they're that small if it doesn't rain look at my beans here all the way to the bottom this old road of beans let's see what happened <laughs> i'm excited about the beans this year okay let me show you the tomatoes and we're gonna go back to the you can see them through the fence there see uh, you can see more here Look at this one too, gosh, they're huge. In there, you can see more here. Look at this branch, Dad. Look how many there. So, yeah, lots of tomatoes. These are all my beets, they're all too crowded. We'll see what happens, but I noticed some of them and they're doing good some are big some are small but look at it the beets so i'm gonna have so much beets we have a friend who likes uh, to pickle them so we're gonna give a lot to them beside my potatoes potatoes are dying down this one's i could harvest this already but i'm gonna wait until beginning of next month to harvest these potatoes and those over there those are all potatoes um, I'm going to wait until the plant died out more uh, to harvest them they usually takes three months three to three and a half months you can leave it up to four five months I mean up to four months if the plant's still green but these ones are ready these ones are store-bought potatoes got it from Walmart organic potatoes they have more weakness um, disease and bugs get to it faster than to those ones over there these are all carrots again I plant too many carrots I know they're gonna be small but 
I really don't care at this point because they're too close to each other and it's too crowded. It didn't look crowded when I planted it, but there were too many and all the seeds sprouted, so they all germinate. So that's the thing. Like this here, this is all um, carrots as well. I plant a lot of carrots because my animals love carrots. All of them, even my dog. Well, my cat doesn't eat carrots. But the rest of the animals, my horse, my goats, and my the chickens. The chickens, not much because it's kind of hard for them. But they all, the chickens will eat whatever. <laughs> but my dog, Lola, she likes carrots too. So, and we like carrots. So this is basically what's going on right now in the garden, guys. You see all the tall tomatoes and then suddenly, what happened to that plant? That's a small tomato plant. No, <laughs> it's a determined tomato plant. It's very bushy. I never pruned that. So it's like a bushy plant there because what determined tomatoes do is they grow, they branch out, they'll give you fruit and they'll die. Um, but undetermined tomatoes will keep growing through the whole season until winter comes. But this one's small here and that one over there too. I let them uh, grow. I didn't prune them and they're full of tomatoes too. Look at them. Beautiful tomatoes. And let's see here. More tomatoes. They're wet because it did rain. Let's see over here. You can see them there. Look at this. Look at that. Let's see. Some more there. Still small. <laughs> this is a weed. Oh my goodness. Look at those there. And there. So like I said, when they ripen and they start uh, turning into a red or yellow tomato, I'll be able to distinguish them and I'll be able to harvest them until then because it's very hard through all this green. <laughs> But anyways, see, the plant is really green. No signs of any disease. There's weed at the bottom together with the plant. So they're companion plants. See, that's the weed there. And it's helping to keep the, the soil moist because I have hay on the pathways and on the small plants, but there's no hay here, see? just weed so I weed some but I leave always plants. I just finished working here at the garden and it's starting to rain again look at that cloud it's dark <laughs> okay rain is always welcome see you in my next episode bye